get on it and go. It was a bad day for this biker. Fuel was leaking from the gas cap and caught a spark, which caused the fire. Luckily he didn't get any burns, but check out what happened with the bike. Firing sins to a crisp. Ain't no telling what else is burned. This video raises many questions about how the trailer could be left in such position, but it's clear that only the truck driver is to blame. Fortunately no one was injured and bikers helped to clear the traffic after the incident. Please be careful on the road, especially if you drive large vehicles. This biker made a big mistake when he decided not to slow down on the curve. As a result, he not only crashed but also hit his friend. Unfortunately, the biker's shoulder is suspected to be broken. Please be careful when cornering. The biker riding ahead on the track made an unpredictable swerve back to the racing line after moving off of it. But on the track it's the responsibility of the one riding behind to make a safe overtaking. So both made some mistakes. Very close call where biker manages to go off-road, dodge the fence and the power pole. It's unbelievable how he made it back on the road without crashing and maneuvered his way through that. Well, good. This biker lost control of his bike while performing a stunt at high speed and started to wobble. Fortunately, he managed to hold the handlebars. Please do not attempt to do this yourself. Big trio. Ah, it's not official. Key official. Ay, 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 ay. Is it hard? Is it hard? This biker was riding his bike and dropped the phone. Fiddlesticks, my phone fell. Despite the fact that he noticed it in time and went back to get it, there's almost nothing left of the phone. Well, thanks for letting me get my phone. Also, I'm really glad you stopped in time. Look at the smoke from the brakes. Look at the mess. Power, power. Oh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Hey, is this back tire uh oh going flat? It is. Do I pull over or what? You had no option, but to keep going. It's gonna feel really weird now, okay? But just be careful, go really slow. Okay. Because of the target fixation, this biker went off-road and got a flat tire. So he had to tow his motorcycle home. He's okay and learned a valuable lesson. As the biker stated, he decided to ride through the forest at 137 km per hour. It seems it was a bad idea. This video is an example of karma being real. A driver in a van decided to overtake the queue, drove through a puddle at high speed and splashed the biker with water. Watch how it ended. These bikers met absolutely indifferent police officers. They didn't even get out of the car after the bike crashed. Write in the comments if you have ever encountered such cops. 
As the biker said, before he turned on the camera, he overtook the driver of the car. After that, the driver cut off with him and drove next to him for about 30 seconds. This car just wants to pass me. I think they'll feel better about themselves once they do. Then the driver drove in front of the biker trying to cut him off. After that, the biker flipped him. Boy. The driver flipped in response, then cut him off and pushed him out of the lane. After that, he gave him a brake check. Yeah. Another driver who was driving behind caught it on camera and volunteered to help. Can you do it? Can you do it for me? I got it all on video, dude. No. Try to kill me, dude. Go get his mate. Go get his mate. Wait, come back. It's saying hopefully I can get it. No, 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 no. He's running. No, he's taking off. I got his place right here. Oh, oh you got his place? Yeah. Can I have an officer here on, uh, what's the street? Commercial? On 10 cents off commercial? That was close. Driver's trailer comes into biker's lane almost causing a crash. Glad there was no collision. Always remember to slow down when taking corners, whether you are riding a bike or in a car. What is this guy doing? Just went through a red light. First, this guy on a can of spider red and red light. Then, as the biker was passing, he started making a U turn and hit the biker just behind the front wheel. He didn't have an indicator on and didn't check his mirror to see if any traffic was coming. The impact ripped off part of the frame, slider, and damaged the lower fairing of the bike. Fortunately, no one was injured. In such situations, bikers usually break mirrors or start a confrontation, but this biker decided to be kind, because aggression provokes even more aggression. I'm really sorry, man. It's alright, dude, don't worry about it. It's alright. It happens. You gotta watch those things like a hog. There's nobody in it. I hate so many. I was coming up behind one this morning. He's like sitting right where you're at. He's coming to a stop. And he just dives towards the other side of his lane. It freaks me out, dude. There was somebody right here, and they just stopped, like, and then, like, they, they just started slowing down because he sent somebody on the side of the It freaks me out, man. It's all messed up. See you, man. Take it easy. This biker rides a bike for a living. Whenever he starts it up to warm the engine, one of his neighbors keeps track of all the noise. One day, she decides she's had enough and confronts him about it, sparking a heated argument. Turn it on, get on it, and go. No, I just need to just warm it up. To, I mean, it's like, no, no, I, well, this time I turned it on and I forgot something inside. I went and grabbed it, put my helmet on. I'm, I'm sorry. I wasn't. Day off. That's our bedroom. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to upset anybody. Well, you are. Okay. It's noisy. Yeah, and I understand. It's this what this is all I have. I, I choose a bike instead of a car. I'm not trying to upset anybody. And I'm not purposely trying to warm it up for five minutes. It's. I'm just warming it up. Well, you did the same thing the other day, so either you're real forgetful or really inconsiderate. No, I'm just just warming it up. That's all. It's you don't warm anything up for five minutes, even well, in Chicago. No, yeah. Can I ask something? If I were to warm it up, even for like you normally would, two minutes to get it. And get but I, but I mean, by then you'd still be woken up, correct? 
but I wouldn't be as awake. All right. I mean, I just like I said, I'm not trying to upset anybody. Not being inconsiderate. I'm sorry. It's like that, and there's not much like. Okay, that's fine. If do what you got to do. I'm not trying to upset anybody. I'm sorry. Mm hmm Well, I mean, that that's plenty of space to not really hear him, though. That's probably his bikes. <laughs> I'm just rolling out of here. I don't, I don't, I, because I understand you guys, I understand it is a quiet neighborhood, and I'm not, I try to be as quiet as I can. It's a sport bike. That's my way, that's my transportation. Yeah, and I choose not to drive a car. Insurance, it's cheaper, gas. I work at the airport, so. You work at the airport? Yes, ma'am. you have a regular schedule? I do. It's a regular PM schedule right now. Is that why you're coming in at 11.45 at night and leaving at 1 in the morning? I don't leave at 1 in the morning, but yeah. But I get but I get home at about, yeah, it can be 11 at night. Somebody leaves at 1 in the morning. It does it doesn't bother me in the morning because if I have an early shift, I'm up there. It wakes my husband up. The other thing that happens is at 11 at night, uh -huh. morning, you get out. <clears throat> I can go back to sleep usually. Mm -hmm. So he is getting no sleep. Yeah, yeah. And it's affecting his health. So I'm not real happy about that either. Yeah, and like I'm. Get on your bike, turn it on. Warm it up for a minute or so and get the hell out of here. Okay. Like I said, I try not to. I try to keep peace with as many people as I can. It's just my way around. I mean. Well, and I, I, it's your choice to do what you want to do. Yeah. But, again, it shouldn't disturb us. That's the problem. I've haven't. I haven't had anybody else complain at all. They all come and talk with me and. They've complained to us. We've complained to them. I, I can't do anything about it at this point. It's it's my way around. It's my bike. I you know. And they're gonna get the same thing I just double. There's nothing I can do about it. It's my way around. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, and I'm not making excuses. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm just you know so. But yeah. So but I'm rolling out now. Just so you know, I'm going grocery shopping and coming back, dropping it off, and I'm off to work. So. Okay. Well, just don't warm it up. For Minutes or five. That's a hyperbole. I got you. I got you. All right. All right. I don't. Woo! Out there. Are you? Tio. Are you? Are you? Tio. Are you? 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 Are Hey, you Hey, you got two guys on uh, side by sides up there, and they're parking in the worst possible place. I think, do they have state badges by chance? I don't know, but there's two side by sides, and uh, they're parked like this and this on this really fast blind thing. We almost nailed them, you know. Uh, camo by chance? I think so. That's probably our staff. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll they're go lay. totally worst place they could ever what? stop and park. What trail? It was, uh, I think, Lake. Lake Trail. It's lake Road, yeah. Um, okay, I'll just. It was on Lake. It was ridiculously bad. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Woo! Bike, you don't even go the same. You can't even go the same uh, as us. Stay I... on the side. There's no bike lane. Stay on the side. So, if there's no bike lane, I'm actually allowed to take over the car lane. Can I pass it? Go ahead. Yeah, but you're in the middle of the lane. There's no bike Have lane. There's no bike lane. Have some respect for us. The law, work. sir, if there's a bike lane, Riding in the middle of the lane. You think you're on a motorcycle. Look how you dress. 
There's no bike lane. You're dressed like you think you're on a motorcycle, but you're it's not. It's protective gear, sir. I'm just being safe against aggressive drivers like you. Please don't hit me, sir. Don't hit me, okay? I'm very afraid of you. Please don't hit me. Don't hit me, okay? No, I got you on camera right now. Don't hit me, okay? Don't hit me. You see this? Don't hit me, okay? Don't hit me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Ooh. And if you saw right till the end, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I'm sure you will like this one too, so check it out. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on my latest content. I'll see you in the next one.